Alright, today I'm going to go over my Milwaukee M18 mid-torque uh, impact. So this is the mid-torque impact wrench. And the model number is, let's see if we can get that. Man, this stuff is so shiny. Alright, so it's 2861-20, and uh, this has the half inch anvil on it, and um, you know, I got this basically for, um, you know, initially I had gotten this one to take off, you know, blades on mowers or lug nuts and stuff like this, and this has plenty of power to do all of those things as well as more power you know more than enough so <clears throat> you know this one runs off the m18 platform and you have your three settings so let's see that's setting one let's see what it sounds like so that's setting one all the way per, you know pressed all the way down setting two Pressed all the way down, setting three. So, you know, in setting two, I can do most things I need to do, and uh, it's got plenty of power. Setting three is very powerful, so if you were trying to break loose a nut or bolt that was really stuck on there, I think you'd be able to get it with this. Um, you know, in comparison to, so I have this. Milwaukee M12 fuel. This is the new stubby impact. Um, I just got this and uh, have a review video out on this. So I'll put a link to this in the description for that video uh, so you can catch my thoughts on this. But you can just see the size difference between the two as well as the angle. So you know this has a straight angle and this one's angled a little bit. That way, you know, if you, you know, work, this is kind of more for automotive stuff you know tight spaces and all that stuff so this has a 3 8 inch anvil on that but this one right here would be good for you know this big m18 one would be good for suspension parts and large bolts and nuts that are very torqued and um, you know need something with a little more power where this is for a little bit more delicate situations but not quite uh, this this little one still has a lot of power, 250 foot pounds of um, torque, uh, whatever you want to call it, nut busting torque and fastening torque. Where this uh, M18 one, I'm gonna let's see, I'm gonna pull it up and see what this one has. All right, so this M18 one has 600 foot pounds of nut busting torque. Um, I think if you get the high torque impact, which is bigger than this. Um, I don't have one, but I can imagine if you put it next to this, it would probably be like, you know, it would almost be like, well, dropping everything. It would almost be like, you know, both of these put together. I, I think it's it's very large. Um, you know, it looks just like this, but it's just a bigger version and heavier. So this is actually pretty heavy with a battery in it. And, um, you know, versus this one, it's a little more light, a little more nimble. But um, 600 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque, and so this one has 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. So a big difference between the two, but um, you know you can see it's, it's almost twice the size. And um, if you need something this big, I would recommend getting it um, because you know more power is always good. You can get those tasks done instead of you know not being able to do it so I got this kind of more as a specialty tool to do some lighter work and kind of um, kind of sorta of like a um, battery ratchet uh, you know Milwaukee has those M12 ratchets um, so you can kind of use those this and the ratchet for the same purpose but uh, something like this is just straight for 
you know, loosening fasteners or, you know, if, if, if you were working in um, construction and you were driving lags into wood, um, you know, lag bolts and stuff like that, you know, this is what you'd have to use unless you were, you know, doing small little lag bolts. But, you know, you probably wouldn't need something. You probably wouldn't, you know, need this anyways. You could just use this and uh, be very versatile in that way. But um, I mainly use this, like I said, for taking off blades on mowers and lug nuts and stuff like that. But I'm going to end up using this one for lug nuts, you know, from now on if I need to. But uh, I'm also considering getting one of these smaller compact ones as kind of like a, you know, emergency travel one. I'm going to get another one of these and uh, keep it in the truck just in case you're on the side of the road and you need to change a lug nut or something like that or whatever um, you know something like this would be very handy versus you know something that's a little bit bigger this is still handy but, but uh, it's definitely bigger and the cost is higher so um, you know this uh, big M18 one just the tool alone is 200 so it's more than this little one uh, obviously, but um, you know, if that's something you need, then you know, it's it's worth getting. I think I paid somewhere in the four to five hundred. I think it was like four hundred and eighty dollars for this, and it came with two five amp hour batteries. And I, I want to say it actually came with a second additional free one. I don't know. Home Depot is where I get most of my Milwaukee stuff, and they usually run good deals on stuff sometimes so it's something to keep an eye out for I'll put a link in the description to this one for uh, this tool at Home Depot I'll see if I can find the best little mock-up kit for um, this gun which has uh, been a favorite I will say I did have one issue with this um, after I got it so I've had this one for probably about a year and um, after a few months of having it um, Basically, when you would squeeze the um, trigger, it would get locked uh, and was spinning in one direction. Um, so basically, no matter which way you switched the direction, you know it would just only spin in one direction. So I just um, sent it into Milwaukee and they sent me a brand new one. So their warranty process has been very um, easy. Um, this I've sent, had to send this one in and I also have a M12 um, drill driver that I just recently had an issue with. And um, I sent it in and then, you know, a week later they sent me out another one. And so... You know, stuff happens, you know, these are electronic, and so unfortunately electronic stuff tends to have issues sometimes, but I haven't had any issues with this one or, the, you know, any of their other stuff um, after I've gotten them back. Um, so basically what they did was they sent me a brand new one, and so no issues with this, and, you know, it's been uh, it's been good. Put a lot of work in with this, and so 
I'd kind of like to have a boot for it, but um, you know, maybe I'll order one of those because um, I got the boot for this, which has been quite nice. That way, when you're working outside, you know, this this you know housing stays protected. Um, you know, even if you're working on the concrete floor or anything like that, or you're outside in the asphalt, um, it's a big deal when you're sitting here. So you can see this one. You know, just from laying it down, I'm usually pretty careful with it. You know, I'm not trying to throw it around and slam it because the um, impact piece is right in here. And so if you damage that, then, you know, this is not going to work. And so you just have to think about things like that and be a little bit uh, conscious of stuff like that. These, you know, these aren't, uh, you know, they're not meant to be thrown around or stuff like that. So if you're really rough with it, you can risk damaging it. But uh, like I said, um, one little small issue I had with it, it, um, it's been good. Um, so I'm happy with this. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and um, consider subscribing. I have more videos on more Milwaukee tools, so as those come out, you'll get a notification. And um, you know, I also have um, you can check out my channel for more videos that are already up there. Um, like I said, I already have a video out on this one. So if you're watching the video on the Milwaukee Mid Torque, then uh, consider checking out my video on this and my thoughts. Um, you know, I don't really have anything to do with this as for, like demonstration purposes. Um, you know, I don't really think you want to watch me take off a lug nut. It obviously does it, and it does it really quickly. So, you know, it's just one of those things where I wanted to give you my thoughts, and these are all, you know, tools that I have purchased and I use in my everyday life, and they're extremely helpful to me, so I wanted to share this information with you. And, um, you know, kind of contribute my feedback about these tools because... I, I really like the Milwaukee stuff. It's been good to me. And, um, yeah. So, again, if you like this video, consider, you know, giving it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.